Twas the week before Christmas when all through the school. Well, not a student was silent, no matter what rule. The children were busy with paper and paste. The mess that they made with it couldn't be faced. The teacher, half frantic and almost in tears, had just settled down to work with her dears. When out in the hall, there arose such a clatter, up sprang the kids to see what was the matter. Away to the door they flew like a flash. The one who was leading went down with a crash. Then what to their wondering eyes did appear but a green Christmas tree to decorate, I fear. When the teacher saw this, she almost grew sick. She knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. She ran to the door. All her efforts were vain, but she shouted and stomped and called them by name. Now Tommy, now Sandy, now Judy and Harry. Now get to your places, get away from the hall. Now get away, get away, get away all. As leaves up before the wild hurricane fly, the students started scurrying by. They ran to the blackboard and skipped down the aisle. Their faces were shining and each had a smile. First came the basket of popcorn to string. Then came the Christmas tree, mincing thing. As the tree was brought in, there arose a great shout. The students were merrily romping about. The state they were in, it could lead to a riot. The teacher was sure, if allowed, they would try it. Her nerves, how they jangled, her temples were throbbing. The rush of her breath sounded almost like sobbing. As if her face were fixed as a mask, it was plain to see she didn't feel up to her task. The look of her eye could have tamed a wild steer, but the children ignored it. They did every year. A tear from her eye and a shake of her head soon led me to think she wished she were in bed. She spoke not a word, but went straight to her work, strung all the popcorn, which broke with a jerk. But at last it was finished and placed on the tree. Then came the bell and the children were free. The shrill of their little voices soon faded away, and the peace was restored at the end of the day. She looked at the Christmas tree, glistening and tall. She smiled as she whispered, Merry Christmas to all!